how to securely share CCTV remote view access with other mobile devices. What I have currently on your screen are two mobile phones whereby I have remotely connected this one to a camera whose footage you can see on the screen right now. You'll realize that if I try connecting this other phone by the normal process of linking a phone by the use of the cloud ID, it tells me device bound by other. The reason why this is happening is very simple and here is why. An enhanced security feature is in place whereby most CCTV brands are now allowing only one mobile device to be the main remote access manager so that if there is the need to enable any other mobile device to have remote view of your CCTV camera, those other devices must be given permission from the manager device before they can connect to your CCTV. So let's see how the remote access can be shared with this particular phone that I'm showing on your screen right now. So I need to go back to the device list area by pressing here. At this point, I will click these three dots here. You can see device sharing. We'll choose it. That brings us to share device page. At this point, this is where you see the number of devices you have granted permission to be able to access your CCTV. At this other column, this is where you can generate a QR code to be used in inviting other devices that you wish to grant access to. So let's choose this. Now the QR code has been generated. The instructions to follow in adding your device has also been outlined here so that you can follow them up to be able to add your device successfully using the QR code. But for the purpose of this video, I will press QR code on this phone and use this phone to scan the QR code. As it is now, it has successfully picked the QR code. You can see the added shown here. So let's go back to the share device page by clicking here. You can see that under share device management, one device has been picked up. You would have to open here. Here are the details of the device we are intending to connect. You then choose permission. Here are activities you may either want to allow or disallow for this remote viewer account. So the option is up to you to decide whether you want this remote viewer to be able to perform these activities that are outlined here. If you do not want to allow th those activities, you can turn them off here. When you are done, you just choose finish. So let's now go back onto our live preview section because we are done setting it up. It is now time to just go back to the device that we are setting up and then continue from there. So on this second phone, we will have to just exit the software and reload it again. So automatically the shared device is picked up as you can see here. To view the live preview, you just tap on the screen here. And there you are with the live video. You can do this for many other devices you intend to connect or grant access to your CCTV camera system. This process might differ a little bit from other brands of cameras, but basically the concept is the same. And so you can use this knowledge to be able to set up other brands of cameras with a little bit of different process. There are some systems that may not have this feature at all. In case your system does not support this feature, 
you may have to do your device addition by the use of your cloud P2P ID. I have shared a link to a video I made on how you can add your device using your P2P ID in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.